Hi, my name is Adam Harris from asiam.ie and we're here in Greystones today with the Wicklow AAA Alliance to bring our autism experience exhibition to the town, which is hopefully going to help young people, but indeed the whole community, get a better understanding of what it's actually like to live with autism. So we're open today until 6. We're open, I'm going to double check this, we're open from tomorrow 10 to 1 and 2 to 6, and then on Wednesday 10 to 1, 2 to 6 and 7 to 9. Let's go inside and have a look. So when you arrive at the exhibition, it's self-guided, so you're able to take an MP3 player and then go around the exhibition and actually begin to explore. So it's not just boring content while we visit, it's a series of interactive games that will test your own knowledge and also enable you to try different activities. So this one at the start tests visitors' knowledge. Then as we go further into the exhibition, we break autism down into nice digestible pieces. So we have videos for people to talk about myth busters, things that aren't true about autism, but that are common misconceptions. Um, we also have a number of tables which give you activities to explore different aspects of what it's like to live with autism. So we've got our table here with visuals. So a lot of people never get to actually explore these and they might wonder what they are, but this is a way for a lot of people with autism to communicate. So we've got our social stories, our pecs, our first next boards. Then it gets really exciting at tables like this where we get people to do a series of interactive activities to see how they would cope if their senses operated a little bit more like an autistic person's. So this is a table which is challenging around the sense of sight. Yeah, We've got a computer game as well that will also test people's ability in this regard. Uh, so that should be fun for people to be able to try out. You have to follow instructions on these earphones here and, and move the, the shapes accordingly and it's quite difficult. Then we have also the sense of touch, so a very difficult task where we get people wearing gloves and you have to unwrap a starburst uh, to show what it's like if you have dexterity problems. But of course, the best part of it is if you can get the starburst open, you get to eat it. Um, we also have some really challenging activities where in all these different pots here, there is different tastes and we challenge people to give them a, a, a taste but not knowing what they're eating. And this captures how a lot of people with autism are very specific taste patterns because can be under sensitive or over sensitive to certain tastes uh, so there's a few little surprises there that people will find out when they visit we've got the same now for the sense of smell and what's really important is to heighten the sense because a lot of people with autism sense are heightened so when you're doing this activity you have to wear a little blindfold and builders um ear earmuffs so you're the only person the only sense that's working at that time is your sense of smell then we've got a very scary activity here we have a spare arm, uh, it, it, no, no arms were hurt in the making of this activity. And it's to show where people can be confused about where their body actually is at a given time. So this is one of the, the highlights of the exhibition, I think. Um, at this stage, when you're going around the exhibition, you're probably a little bit tired and a little bit exhausted. And that's what people with autism can feel like all the time. So we have a nice table here with some of the stimming toys that people with autism might use to relax. And best of all, We've got a little sensory tent that people can come in and try out all of these really relaxing things that people with autism might enjoy. But of course, it's not just about toys. We also have an explanation of what all the different things are so people can actually learn interactively. Again, the most important thing is the best way to learn is by doing. So hopefully we'll let you step into the shoes of somebody who has autism. And then finally, what we have is we want to talk about autism, not just in a negative way. We want to talk about what people's strengths are. And we want to talk about how people with autism can be involved in their community. So the last thing that we're asking people to do is to pick up their marker and think about what they can do to make Greystones, County Wicklow, a more inclusive place. Best bit of all is if you come down here in the next couple of days and take a selfie here with the hashtag, I'm part of the answer, because we're all part of the answer in autism inclusion, you'll be in with a chance to win a 100 euro one for all voucher. And we'll be announcing that on Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. So thanks a million. The best part still that I haven't mentioned is this is entirely free to visit. So we really hope we can welcome you and that you can learn more about the one in 100 in our community who live with autism. Thank you.